Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about using CSS. So in the last video, I have introduced you towards CSS, what is CSS, how you are going to use CSS and why you are going to use CSS. And in this video, we will see how we will implement CSS in HTML5. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. And guys, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Now there are three ways to use CSS that is inline CSS, internal CSS and external CSS. Now inline CSS is a way of adding CSS to your HTML in which we will provide the styling, we will provide the CSS with each tag using the style attribute. Now CSS selectors are provided as value to this attribute. So basically we provide the style attribute to any specific tag and whatsoever CSS we want to give, we give as a value to this style attribute. Now with inline CSS, many of the CSS advantages are lost. So one of the greatest advantage of using CSS is one specific style can be applied on multiple HTML pages. But with inline CSS, we lose that specific feature. The other way of applying CSS is internal CSS. Here, we use a style element or style tag inside the head tag and there we use HTML selector, declaration block and declarations inside the declaration block. Now this is something I have also shown you in the previous video. Now that was nothing but internal CSS. Now internal CSS gives us an advantage where the style can be applied on the whole page. So from one section itself, we can provide the style to the whole page. But again, this type of styling cannot be reused on any other HTML page. So here also we are losing one of the advantage of CSS. But the most usable form of using CSS is external CSS. Now in this form, we create a separate file with .css extension and provide selectors, declaration blocks and declaration inside that external file. Now, once that external file is created, then we link that external file to any HTML page. Now, to link that, we use link tag. Now, within the link tag, we provide two attributes. One is the href attribute. Now, with the help of href attribute, we provide the source or the link of the CSS file. And rel or relation attribute with style sheet as a value, which actually tells that this link is related to a style sheet. Now external CSS is mostly used because with this approach you can actually style multiple HTML pages from one CSS file itself. Now what happens if we are going to include multiple CSS? That means if we are going to have an external, internal and inline CSS all together in one HTML page. So in that case, the inline CSS will be given as the highest priority for the style and the external CSS will be given the lowest priority for the style. In other words, you can say first, the style of the external CSS will be applied on the HTML page, then internal CSS style will be applied, and finally, inline CSS style will be applied. So it's pretty much of talk, and now it's time to see the things practically. Hey guys, so here we are in our VS code, and let's quickly create few HTML files and see what are the various ways in which we can use CSS to it. So first of all, I'm creating an HTML file over here and let me mention it as inline.html and I'm going to add some basic standard code. So you can see I have added one title with inline CSS and two headings over here. Let me just click on go live and here you can see the output of this page. So these are the two headings that are shown over there. Now we are going to use the first way of applying CSS over here that is inline CSS. Now with inline CSS we actually use style attribute with HTML tags. So suppose if I want to provide a CSS to this h1, I will use a style attribute and I will mention the CSS over here. Suppose if I want to change the color to red, so I will mention the CSS over here with the property and value and as soon as I will save it, you can see the first heading is changed to red color. Now with inline CSS, there is one disadvantage. The disadvantage is we have to provide individual style to individual tags and these styles are not reusable. 
So definitely it's a very lengthy process when we use the inline CSS to apply any style to any specific tag. But you can use this approach if you want to provide a specific style to a specific tag. For example, if I want to provide different color to these different headings, I can certainly use inline CSS over here and provide separate styles to them. But still it is not advised to use this approach because with this approach we lose plenty of CSS advantages. Now let me create another file and there I will show you the internal CSS. For that I am creating a new file over here naming it as internal.html providing the basic standard HTML code. So this is the file that I have created. Now let me show you the output for it. For that in the URL I will remove the content after the folder name t02 using CSS. Here I can see both the files and I will open internal.html. Now this is the file which I have created over here with two headings and one paragraph. For internal CSS we come to the head section and there we add a style tag and within the style tag we will specify first of all the selector for which we want to provide the style. For example if I want to provide the style for h1 I will use the selector h1 there will be a declaration block with this opening closing brace and within the declaration block I will mention the property and its value for example color as red as soon as I will save it all the h1s in this file will have the same style. So this is very useful if I want to provide common style to similar tags I will use the selector and provide that style over here and that will be applied to all the tags with that selector. Similarly if I want to style the paragraph I will use p selector and if I want to change the color to green I will use like this. So you can see the paragraph color is changed to green now. Now internal CSS is really helpful when we want to provide the style to the whole page from one specific section. Still we lack one advantage over here that we cannot reuse this style to any other page and for that external CSS is the most useful way of applying CSS. So let me create one more file where I am going to use external CSS. So here I am creating one more file with name external.html and add the standard HTML code over here and I will go back refresh here and by clicking on external.html I can see the content of this file. Now to apply external CSS first of all we need to create an external file with .css extension and provide the style over there. So here I am going to create one more file and I am giving it a name as style.css. Now it's up to you whatsoever name you want to provide to this file. Now in this style.css I will provide the style by using the same way using the selector declaration block and mention the style over there like I am providing color as red and text align as center and I am also selecting p tag and providing the color as blue and saving this. So my style.css is ready all that I need to do now is I need to link that style to this HTML page and that style will be provided to this HTML page. So all these h1 in that HTML page will have red color and will have center alignment and all the paragraph will have blue color. Now this style will be applied to any HTML page whichsoever HTML page I want to use this specific style I can use that. All that I need to do is to link this style.css to that HTML page. Now to link that CSS over here in the head section we will use link tag. Inside the link tag we need to provide two attributes over here. The first attribute is href attribute. Now with this href attribute we will mention the location and name of the CSS file. Now right now the CSS file and this HTML are at the same place in the same folder. Because of that I can directly mention the name as style.css. And the other thing that I need to mention here is rel attribute and the value of this will be style sheet. So basically I am mentioning that this link is related to a style sheet and the hyperlink reference of that style sheet is style.css. Now as soon as I will save this that style will be applied here in this HTML. Now this is how we can use an external CSS in a file. Now what will happen if we will use all the three ways in one single file itself. That means if we are using any external CSS at the same time we are having an internal CSS and we also have an inline CSS over there. So for that let me create a new file over here with name multiple.html. 
I will add the standard HTML code over here. Now once this file is ready, I will click on back, refresh and open multiple.html. You can see it is again having heading and paragraph and right now there is no specific style that I have given over here. Now let me do what? Let me just use the same external CSS over here. So we know for that we need to use link tag with href and rel attribute with corresponding values and once I will save this that external CSS will be applied over here. Now what will happen if I will use internal CSS as well. So I am using the style tag and within the style tag I am providing h1 with a color of let's suppose blue and I am saving this. So you can see because of the external CSS my heading became to red color and center aligned but then after an internal CSS is overriding the color. So if external and internal CSS both are there, first external CSS will be applied on the HTML file and then internal CSS will be applied on it. If we are providing different value to the same property, definitely internal CSS property value will override the external CSS property value. Now at the same time, suppose if I go to a specific H1 and from here I am using inline CSS and I am providing the color as green so for that specific heading the color will appear as green. So the order of overriding the same property value is like external CSS property will be overridden by internal CSS and even internal CSS property will be overridden by inline CSS. So when all three of them are together inline CSS will be given as higher priority over internal CSS and internal CSS will be given higher priority over external CSS. So out of all those three, inline CSS will be having the highest priority. So guys, in today's video, we have seen what are the various ways we can apply CSS to an HTML page and what will happen if we will apply more than one ways in one single HTML file. That marks the end of today's video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.